Hey everyone, I am so excited for what I'm about to present to you and tell you about, but first I want to go and give you a little nugget from the Word that I believe God showed me yesterday, and uh, just believe that this is all going to come out the right way, the way God wants it to, and that Holy Spirit is on this like never before. So I'm going to start in Acts 10, verse 9. It's Peter visits Cornelius the next day. Prior to this, Cornelius had a vision from the Lord to send for um, Peter. So the next day, as Cornelius' messengers were nearing the town, Peter went up to the flat of the roof. It was about noon, and he was hungry. But while a meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw the sky open, and something like a large sheet was let down by four corners. In the sheet were all sorts of animals, reptiles, and birds. Then a voice said to him, Get up, Peter, and kill and eat them. No, Lord, Peter declared, I have never eaten anything that our Jewish law has declared impure or unclean. But the voice of the Lord spoke again, Do not call something unclean if God has made it clean. The same vision was repeated three times. Then the sheet was suddenly pulled up to heaven. Peter was perplexed. What could this vision mean? And just then, at that moment, Cornelius's um, men found Simon's house. Standing outside the gate, they asked if a man, man named Simon Peter was there. Meanwhile, Peter was still puzzling over the vision. The Holy Spirit said to him, Three men have come looking for you. Get up and go downstairs. Go with them without hesitation and don't worry for I have sent them. So Peter went down and said, I am the man you are looking for. Why have you come? We were sent by Cornelius. He is a devout, God-fearing man, well respected by all the Jews. A holy angel instructed him to summon you to his house so that he can hear your message. So Peter invited the men to stay for a night and the next day they went with him and accompanied by some other brothers from Joppa. They arrived in Caesarea the following day, and Cornelius was waiting for them, had called together his relatives and close friends. As Peter entered his home, Cornelius fell at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter pulled him up and said, Stand up, I am human just like you are. So they talked and went inside where many others were assembled. Peter told them, You know it is against our law for, Jewish, for a Jewish man to enter a Gentile home like this or to associate with you. But God has shown me that I should no longer think of anyone as impure or unclean. So I came without objection as soon as I was sent for. Now tell me why you have sent for me. Cornelius replied, Four days ago I was praying in my house about this same time, three o'clock in the afternoon, and suddenly a man in dazzling clothes was standing in front of me. He told me, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your gifts to the poor have been noticed by God. Now send messengers to Joppa and summon a man named Simon Peter. He is staying in the home of Simon, a tanner who lives near the seashore. So I sent for you at once, and it was a good thing for you to come. Now we are all here waiting before God to hear the message the Lord has given you. So, what does this all mean? Well, I just want you to stay with me, please. I hope you tuned in and are expectant for whatever God wants to say because he wants to say something and he's calling the people. I want to give you a little um, invitation to March 17th at our church. Rick Pino is coming out for a worship night and you're probably thinking, well, what's the big deal? I promise you, if you are in a place where you have no idea who God is or you know who God is, whether you're on fire, lukewarm, wherever you're at, I promise you this is the night God is going to meet you. And I don't say it lightly, and I'm going to tell you why. Three years ago, Jonathan and I were on vacation, and I was spending time with the Lord, and I saw a vision of Rick Pino at our church around our, my birthday. And I saw the non-believer, I saw the believers, I saw the lukewarm believers, I saw those who are already on fire being marked heavily with the presence of God in a mandate from heaven. I saw people being delivered. I saw so much happening at the altar. And I was like, okay, God, we got to get Rick Pino here like ASAP. And so I told Jonathan about what I was feeling. And he's like, I don't feel like it's now. Um, which I thank the Lord heavily for my husband who is led by the Spirit and for all people who are led by the Spirit. And so that was three years ago almost. And then come this past September, Jonathan and I went to meet up with Rick Pino at a friend's church and we went out to eat with him before he left. He had to leave and go on his flight back to Texas and we're like all in the parking lot standing and it's like we're it's like literally we're lingering and I'm like Lord in that moment I'm like what are you trying to do and right after that 
um, Rick looked at Jonathan and was like, bro, when am I going to come out to Detroit? And Jonathan, like, looked at me because he knew this was literally what I've been waiting for and had seen something happen way many years prior. Not many years, but I saw it happen prior. And I was like, Rick, can you come out for my 30th birthday? He's like, yeah, I'm in. And I'm like, what? And he just, it happened so supernaturally and so easily. And he called, he gave us the exact date that he was able to come out, which is March 17th. And... Um, I just want to say this, he could be anywhere and he's coming here. And just like in Acts, which I absolutely love the word of God because I flipped open to this and I love how the Lord still flip, plays the flip game with me because I opened to this and I just saw the Lord all over it. Um, Cornelius knew from a vision that Peter was supposed to come and he sent for him and in the moment that he was sent, Peter got a vision and he was told that he, he didn't even know fully what was going to happen, but he was told by God to go to, to go find Cornelius because yeah, basically Peter saw a vision that the Gentile was not someone that you don't talk to. You talk to everybody for the name of Jesus Christ, right? So that's what Peter got the download for. And the Holy Spirit then told him that there was men that were awaiting for him and wanted to lead him to Cornelius. So um, he goes and he doesn't even know what, it, I truly believe that in that moment, Peter didn't know what he was about to say. And I think that whether Rick has a word coming or maybe he doesn't have a word for his coming yet, I truly believe that he is going to come and the word of God is going to come upon him so strongly and heavily that he doesn't even know what is about to happen. And I just say this to you um, to not only just extend the invite, but to also join and lock arms with us as we are inviting people out because I believe with my whole heart this is for an appointed time that people are going to get marked and people are going to get radically changed and it's going to be a moment that they will look back on and say, wow, do you remember this night? And um, I just also want to reiterate that this can't be done with just ourselves. We just a small people spreading the word. Literally, the more people who hear about it, the more people that will come out, the more fire and the more expectancy will be stirred in people. And I know without a shadow of doubt, God is going to meet every expectant person. Um, so come expectant, come with great anticipation for what the Lord is going to do. And please spread the word. I'm asking you very humbly to find the graphic. It's on our Facebook page, which is actually atta attached to this blog. And find it, RSVP, but then also send out that word and get the word spread because it is going to be a powerful night. I see people coming out and as people are coming out, it's like this swirling is getting stirred. And the second that we all are in our pews, in the pews, and before the music has stopped, I see everything being still. And then out of nowhere, the second the music is played and the worship is going up to the Lord, I see the fire of God falling on the church. And I don't say it lightly. I really see a move of God that is going to happen this night. The word of God is going to come forth in such a prophetic way. It's going to unlock destinies. It's going to shape people. It's going to mold people. It's going to press people. It's going to shake people. It's going to deliver people who have been in a dark place and I just know without a shadow of a doubt, all people are supposed to come. And I am so excited for it. So please, please, please come out. Help us spread the word. We are super excited. It is going to be a powerful night that you will never forget. I can promise you that on March 17th, 7 p.m., we are inviting you out for a night you'll never forget. And I don't say that lightly again. We love you. Um, hope you are blessed. We I miss doing these videos. I miss hearing from a lot of people because I feel like when I was doing the videos, I was hearing from so many. So hopefully the Lord gives me a word every couple weeks so I can hear from all of you. And I just hope everyone's doing well in this new year. It's been a whirlwind. I can't wait to tell you what's coming. So hopefully after this whole night is done, I can tell you what God has done and what God did that night. And also just, yeah, all that's coming in the Russo household.
we're always in an adventure, no joke, but um, we're super excited. Be blessed, be encouraged, and as always, be, expi be inspired and calm expectant. Please send out invites to people that even if you're intimidated to send them out, send them out because you never know what one text message could do. It could change someone's life forever. Love you guys.